But if they violate the law again, if they rob another bank, if they get caught trafficking drugs, if they get caught driving drunk, once again, they are in violation of the law. Once again, they have to come before a judge. We have to. The Bible says if you sin, what? Turn quickly. Turn quickly unto me and repent, or else I'll come and re remove thy candlestick out of thy place. That's in Revelation. He's telling us, don't continue in sin. Turn to me. Turn to me. You have to obey me. I have given you grace so that you can obey me again. I've got to get through this. Wherever sin abounded, oh, I've got to cover that. He, it, the Bible says, where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That does not mean that when you sin more, you'll be given more grace. That means that scripture is for those that feel like, oh, I've done too much, I can't be forgiven. That is what that scripture is for. Look at if Paul understood that. He wrote this. Because he could say, everything that I did, God forgave me for it. And he can forgive you. No matter how much you sinned, no matter how great that sin was, where sin abounded, grace that much more abounded for that sin. That meant they could be forgiven. That meant they could be forgiven for what they have done. They, they didn't have to worry, well, have I done too much? No. Come to the Lord. Return unto the Father. Return unto the kingdom. Pledge your allegiance to Him again. Confess Him as your Lord and owner. Confess Him, the Lord Jesus Christ, once again, so that you can once again obey Him and not be in fear uh, and live under condemnation, but you can obey Him and serve Him knowing that you've been forgiven of everything. Oh, I speak against this this doctrine that people are living under, that they can do whatever they want to during the week, live however they want to, and still feel like they can come to church on Sunday and still make it in. I'm sorry. You're living in religion, but you're not living in the kingdom of heaven. You can continue in religion, but you can't be in the kingdom of heaven. Oh, I've got so much more than I want to cover in this. And I think I'm going to have to save the rest of this for next time. But let me get this last little part out. Whenever the Bible is talking about you're not under law anymore, one, it's talking about your violation of law. The things that you had done, you don't have to worry about the judgments of those laws anymore. You can be forgiven, and you don't have to live in condemnation. But there are two laws in the Bible. We don't, when it's talking about we don't no longer live under law, but we live under grace, there are two laws that we need to understand. The problem is sometimes we just read what we read in English. Or sometimes we don't read, we listen to what a pastor tells us. And sometimes those pastors and those teachers, they don't study the Hebrew. They don't study the Greek. The Greek was one of the most expressive languages that there ever was. I think there was, and forgive me scholars, Greek scholars, because I know that you'll know this right offhand, but I'm thinking there is seven or 12 words that mean love. Seven or 12 words. And, but every time in English, it's interpreted as just love. There are two laws that the Bible is referring to when it's talking about law. There is sacrificial law and there's God's laws. Sacrificial law, that was all buried with Jesus. But the laws of God, that are the, that's the things that we have to continue obeying. He doesn't change. We're going to get into this in the next lesson. I pray that this message has blessed you. I pray that God will keep you until the next lesson. I pray you'll write me. Tell everyone about this site, byeveryword.org. I pray God will convict you and be with you. Make his face to shine upon you. And I pray that he will once again, that you will once again return 
unto obedience. The obedience of the kingdom. God bless you. Until next time, for the kingdom.